Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I know it's been a while, uh, busy, busy summer. I've done actually very little car stuff this summer. Uh, you know, we did the Nevada Open Road Challenge in May. I haven't done another event since then. Um, just, you know, vacations, running around. It just seems like something nonstop. So, but I have done two things to the car, which I'll point out a little later. I want to tell you about the car getting ready for the Silver State Classic. We had about three and a half weeks till we're going to head on out. Maybe four, somewhere in there. Um, but uh, I'm jumping up to the 150 group. Uh, so I have to average 150 miles an hour for 90 miles. So if you count the narrows, they call the narrows, which is a windy part of the track, we can only do about 100, or the highway, sorry, Highway 318. Um, if you count that part, which I'll be doing 100, 110, give or take, I've got to do 160 plus for many, many, many miles, probably 50 to 60 miles to make up for that. Um, this is where the big boys play, the 150 plus group uh, is probably it for me. I'm probably not gonna go any faster because if I go to the next uh, division up, I need a fuel cell. Uh, with fuel cell, I'd be good, but I'm not going down that road because this is, you know, mostly a street car, so I don't want to get down that road. But what I am gonna do on this event is I'm gonna data log a lot. So I have not done that in the past, so hopefully we'll tell how kind of horsepower we're needing to push the car at 150 and 160. Uh, we'll see what coolant temps are. Um, all that kind of data, I'm gonna data log, and then at the end of the video, I will show you what we're dealing with. So, something a little bit different. Car, I'm gonna check it all out here in the next couple of weeks, probably the next two weeks, I'll uh, get it up on jacks. We'll go through this thing bolt by bolt. So, uh, and then we're ready to go. So we got four Daytona Coupes now, four Type 65s. Mine, Patrick's, Dave's, and a guy named John from Virginia who's gonna bring his out in the 95 mile an hour group. He's in the rookie group, so he's gotta start slow before he steps it on up. But he's gonna drive from Virginia, so he wins the long distance travel award for sure. Uh, that's a long ways to go. But uh, so we'll have four, uh, very exciting. And then I'm here, we may have a couple more for next year as guys are getting them done in the area. Another one in Salt Lake maybe show up. So it's gonna be it's gonna be freaking awesome. It's gonna be way cool. So let me show you what I've done to the car so far and then we'll close this video out. I just had to get this up because it's been way too long. I apologize for that. First thing I did in the car is I put in a headliner. So it used to be just like a bed line. Hopefully you can see this, probably not too well. It was just bedlined before, and now I put in a um, headliner with a little bit of foam, one eighth inch foam, pretty light, lightweight, and then I put some of this speaker surround material on. Um, it's what they can close speaker boxes with in cars. Uh, you know, so it's got a little bit of texture to it, and it's more like a thin carpet. I figure that's gonna absorb more sound than anything else. And it's still black, so it really doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, that's kind of one of the last two things I had to do to the interior. And then my last one was I did the door panels. So I did this in uh, Alcantara, as you can see. I'm not too fine. You can see it kind of changes the texture when you, you rub on it. Um, but I did this Alcantara, and I'm hoping this absorbs more sound as well, instead of just being the fiberglass with the primer on it. So, and then I put these little pockets here, as you can see. Uh, this way I can put uh, my your hearing protection in here for people who want to ride in the car, um, your phone if you needed to, and whatever else. So I think you can even put a drink in there if you had to. I don't know. I'll have to check that out. Um, but yeah, so now the car is officially uh, done as far as the interior. So, but here's one thing I'm going to do, and this is where I really want to get some uh, opinions. I'm thinking of repainting this thing. I wanted to repaint the nose. Um, because the blue, I said I didn't get enough blue on this. And if you look at it in the right light, you can see just where it's not, you can see kind of blotchiness because it just there wasn't enough blue. I didn't put enough coats on. So I'm actually thinking of respraying the blue and get rid of the white stripes and turning them into orange and then put dark blue or black, you know, half inch pinstripes on the side. Really GT, you know, golf, golf livery color. I think the orange overall with the dark blue would really pop better than the white, but uh, I'm not decided yet, but we'll wait till after the race. So that's kind of the, the, the key. We'll wait until after. So I wanted to get this up. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. Sorry for the delay. Uh, wish me luck in the Silver State. I said 150 mile an hour average. Uh, we'll be doing 160 plus for a good chunk of it. Uh, hopefully my biggest concern is those rear CV joint boots. I'm hoping they hold. As I said, we got the Ford Motorsport ones in now, much stiffer and drilled small holes to vent out any gases as it gets built up pressure in there. So hopefully that survives. If not, I'm gonna have another big mess to clean up. 
So, uh, and we use CV, uh, the uh, red line uh, CV grease, which is supposed to have a really high drop point, which will cause that not to liquefy. So wish me luck and I will put up a video when I get back with data so we can see exactly what kind of horsepower, throttle, fuel trims, um, a torque, uh, it'll all be up there. So I'll kind of get the uh, data uploaded and uh, we'll throw it on the next video. So thanks again for watching and I will uh, chat with you all probably in about four to five weeks. Thank you.